I'm George Pearson and these are just a few examples from some of the training videos I have here on YouTube. Now when you're working with the training, following along the training, if you want to get the materials I used in the training, just go to the description down below and click on the link that's at the top of the description and this will take you to a page where you can download the materials. Please subscribe, click the like button, and of course always share on Facebook, Twitter, or wherever. I really appreciate that. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with the video. In this Photoshop Elements project, we're going to change the eye color here on this photograph. Now, the photograph is just the eyes, as you can see, real tight, close, so to make it easy to see what we're doing here in this video. This will work on any picture, obviously, where you can have a clear view of the eyes. Here's our color change. I'll be making a couple of different color changes on this, but that's the effect that we get. It's using layer masks, as you can see, and also some adjustment layers as well. Okay, let's go ahead and start this. I'm just going to cancel that and get that out of the way. Here's the original image, right there, just the background. So you want to take this and we want to separate out just the iris on both sides so you can change that color and also separate out the pupils so we can darken down the pupil a little bit as well. So we'll start off with making a copy of the background layer to drag it up here to the new layer button. There you go. And I'll zoom in on one of the eyes here. Let's just zoom in on this left eye, make it nice and large. A little too big. I'm going to zoom out just one notch. There we go. Okay, so we have one eye here. Now I want to make a layer mask that only shows just the eye section. So go up here to this layer hard background copy. I'm going to double click on that. I'll call this one eyes. There we go. And then click on the layer mask button and it gives you a layer mask. Now the mask is in white which shows everything. I want to invert that and make this black instead. So go up to filter, come down to adjustments and invert. Notice the light blue outline around the layer mask. That means I'm on the layer mask side. If you see the light blue over here you'll need to double click on this side to see the layer mask outlined. So make sure you have that outline and then invert that. Now that I have this black, it's not showing anything as you can see. There you go, I'm just hiding that background layer. So I want to show the eyes and on layer masks, white shows and black hides. That's the basic idea here. So I have a white color. There's our default colors right there. Just switch those to white in front and black in back. Go to our paintbrush. There we go. And then I need to change the brush size here so it's the right size to fit that. So I'll just pull it up a ways and let's check that. A little too small still. A little bit larger. Way too big. Let's try 400 in here. Still too large. Bring it down to 200. And of course I know what the size is but I'm showing you the process that I go through to find that size. Let's try 250. A little large. Let's try 2. 20. And that's just about it. As you can see right there, it's just, just a hair smaller than the actual iris. So take your paintbrush and position it right over the iris, just like that. So you see a little bit outside, just a touch. And we want to paint this white. Now go to your brush settings before you do this, brush settings, and set the hardness at 50%. It'll either be at 0% if you have a soft brush selected or at 100% if you have a hard brush selected. So let's go in here, change the hardness to 50% by typing it in like that. Okay, now let's bring that right over the iris. There we go. And tap that five times. That was one, two, three, four, five taps. And what that does is gives us a nice bright white up here. Okay, without changing your brush size, Let's scroll to the right hand side and do the same thing on this side. Again, just position your brush right over the eye, just like that, and then tap it five times. One, two, three, four, five taps. Gives us a nice solid white on that. Now, if I hide the background, see there's the eye. That's that 50% softness is giving us that soft edge in there. We're seeing a little bit of the eyelid at the top. We'll need to fix that. So let's bring our eyes back up again. Make sure you're still on the layer mask side, just like that. And then white shows, black hides. So let's reverse our colors. Grab the paintbrush. We're done with this size now. We don't need that any longer. So I can bring my size down a bit. Let's say, oh, about 
36, 40 or so in here. I'm just going to paint right over this part of the eyelid. Now you have to just kind of you know, eyeball this freehand, this, this paint right there, right over the top, and then come a little bit above. And that will just hide that part. I'll hide the background. You can see right there, we just hid that part of the eye. Okay, so go over left-hand side, just scroll to left-hand side, do the exact same thing. We're still on the layer mask, as you can see here. Same thing, just right where that eyelid goes over the eye. Just paint over that, and then go a little bit above that as well. And hide the background. There we go. So we now have those taken care of. So we now have those nice eyes. Now the reason why I wanted the soft edge on this edge is I want a little bit of the original eye color to show through just a touch. So as we change our eyes, we'll get a little bit of a color change right there, which looks more natural. Okay, that's the first step. I now want to be able to control the pupil in here, control the darkness of the pupil. We'll do the exact same steps as before, but just focusing on the pupil itself. So take the background layer, drag it up to the new layer button just like that. There we go. Let's rename this one pupil. And drag this layer above the eye layer, so it's the top layer. Now go back to your brush and then adjust the brush size so it's the right size for the pupil. So let's bring it up a little bit here, not quite, a little bit more. That's pretty good, 65 pixels is a good size. I want this little bit harder edge on this, so I'll go to my brush settings and let's change the hardness down here to about 20%, actually 80% is what I want. I'm backwards thinking here. 80% hardness, 20% softness. So 80 on that. And then go right over the pupil. Just kind of make sure you find that exact spot. Go right over the pupil. And same thing, click on that five times. Now to do this, we need to have our layer mask. There's the layer mask. We need to invert the layer mask. Again, just like before. Filter adjustments, invert, gives us black. Change our background or our colors here to white for our foreground color and then right over the pupil and then click five times one two three four five it's good and solid now scroll to the right hand side make sure of course that you have that light blue outline showing on your layer mask same thing here go right over the pupil and then click five times one two three four five now because the eyelid doesn't cross over the pupil at all, we don't have to do any of that additional adjustments in there. That's all set. Okay, so far so good. We'll come back to that layer in just a little bit. And we'll, we'll darken that down as needed. Okay, let's now change our eye color. If you want to do more than one eye color, make a copy of this layer. So what I would recommend is taking the layer that just says eyes, drag it up here to the new layer button, make a copy, and hide that one. That's our base level. So we can then copy that as we want to to make additional eye colors. This one has changed this to blue. There we go. Now for blue eyes, we'll make an adjustment here, but I want to be able to easily go back and readjust, so we'll use adjustment layers on this. So, layer, new adjustment layer, hue saturation, where it says use previous layer to create Clipping mask, make sure that that is selected just like that. Choose OK. That links it right to that one layer. Now all you have to do in here to change the color is to change the hue. Let's kind of shift that around. So blue eyes is clear to the left. You can see we have kind of purple in here. Kind of green eyes are right in here. There's a real green in the back to blue. Again, I'm going to go to the blue left hand side. Notice now there's a little, just a hint of brown showing around the edge down there and a little bit right in here. That's because we had that soft edge when we made that mask. And that soft edge gives us a little bit of a color shift which makes this look more natural. So you want a more natural effect in there. So there's that shift. Now it's too dark. We can fix that in just a second. I'm going to put a little bit more saturation here, make it a little bit more colorful. That's some kind of going back and forth on this. I like to just edge up on these. I'll go up oh, about that far, maybe about 30, 40, let's say 43 is pretty good. Nice amount of blue in there. And then close that down. Now because we're doing the adjustment layer on the whole layer here below, both eyes now match. There we go. See they're both matching colors. If I hide that, we see the original. There's our original and there's our color change. Now if I didn't 
have this pupil layer up here, we could see some color shift on the pupil as well, which we didn't, didn't want. That's why I did that. We can also darken those down in just a second. And if you want to make your eyes brighter, you can control that with another adjustment layer. So we're on the hue saturation adjustment right there. Go up here to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and Levels. Again, use the Use Previous Layer to Create Clipping Mask check right there. On the levels, if you want to make the eye darker, move the left control over like that. That makes it darker. If you want the eye lighter, move the right control in here. Notice how it's only doing just the iris because that's controlled by that layer mask. So there we go, nice kind of nice bright blue eyes. There we are. Okay, let's make the irises just a little bit darker. Go to the, or the pupil rather, go to the pupil level here. And same thing, I'll use an adjustment layer. The reason for the adjustment layer, again, is so I can go back and change that adjustment if I want to easily. Okay, so layer, new adjustment layer, levels. Make sure you check that checkbox right there. Choose OK and pull the left side in. That makes that darker. There's a little highlight right there. If I pull this in, you can see how that highlight goes away. So there's now this nice dark pupil, a lot, lot stronger looking. Okay, now again, the reason for the adjustment layers is I can change my adjustments. Let's say I wanted to change my blue color in here. Just double click on the icon on that adjustment layer. Brings back up the controls and I can then adjust my color. Just like that. Okay, so there's my blue layer. If you want to have more or a different eye color, just repeat those steps. Let's go ahead and do that for a green eye effect. I'm going to hide those layers. That's the there we go. Yeah, hide the adjustments first, then the layer. So there's the blue layer hidden along with the adjustments. They're all hidden. Let's show this layer again. Take this layer, drag this up to our new layer button. So you're always working on a copy. There we go. Let's change this one to green. This will be our green eye layer. As soon as we've already made our adjustments up here on the pupil, I don't need to do that again. That's taken care of for however many colors you want. Okay, on the green color down here, same thing. Go up to Layer, New Adjustment, Layer, Hue Saturation. Make sure you check that checkbox right there. Choose OK. Let's now push the hue to the right side until we get a nice green color right in there. That's very green. A little bit more saturation on that. There we are. Close that down. And then if you want to control the brightness, we'll put in another adjustment layer above this one. So layer, adjustment layer, levels. Again, check that checkbox. Choose OK. And now I'll pull in the right hand side, which will make this brighter. And there we go. Really kind of strange, bright green eyes. Very weird, reptilian looking things in here. OK, there we are. Now, if you want to switch again, just hide the adjustments and that layer. And then let's show this layer and the adjustments. There's our blue eyes. Okay, let's see how we've done. I'll do view, fit on screen. There we go. There is the blue eye look. Let me hide that. Get those all hidden. There we go. Let's look at our green eyes now, which are down in here. There's our green eye look. There's without the brightness control on that. It's a real nice, very realistic looking eye color changes. Maybe a bit stranger on that green eye in there. Okay, and that's all there is to it. Real easy to make these adjustments. The trick again is to use these layer masks and the adjustment layers. You can go back and you can adjust or change as you want to. Now one little additional thing here. I've done this demonstration in Photoshop Elements 15 which means that if I want to, I can use an additional trick in here to control my files. If you have 15, let's go ahead and group these into layer groups. So I'm going to click on the top adjustment here on the blue set, hold my shift key down, click on the eyes. So that's my blue set right there, blue eyes. Click on the create layer group, and it puts those into a layer group. I'll just rename this, double click, name that one blue. Let's hide that. 
Let's now show the brown or the green layer rather. There we go. Same thing, click on the top adjustment layer, hold the shift key down, click on the eyes themselves, so all three are selected. Click on the new group, there it is. Let's just name this one green. And now I can easily show or hide the green or show or hide the blue, just like that. That's one of the nicest things about Photoshop Elements 15, and for me that alone is worth upgrading to version 15. There we go. So if you are working in an earlier version, it'll look like that. Of course, not indented, but you get the idea. If you're working in 15, go ahead and drop those into groups, just to make it a little bit easier to control. But there it is. That's how you can do an eye color change quickly and easily here inside of Photoshop Elements. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can.